Hetepu. My name is Jabari Osaze, and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. Welcome back for your incredible, fabulous Friday. This means that you've gotten through most of your week successfully. Hopefully, you are thinking about all those things that you've done this week, preparing to put an exclamation point on your week so that you can move forward into a powerful weekend and into a powerful life. Today, we're coming to you with some wisdom that comes off of the Tekken of Hatshepsut. Some of you are saying, what is a Tekken? You've probably, you're probably more familiar with the term obelisk. Obelisk is, is actually a Greek term. So we're going to use the ancient Kemetic, the ancient Egyptian term, the, the more appropriate term, Tekken. And there are some of you who are not familiar with the name Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut is actually one of the most powerful queens who ruled Kemet on her own, on her own right. Some would say even as a king during one of the most powerful periods that Kemet actually ever saw. I want us to really understand that ancient wisdom does not come simply to men. And certainly we know, certainly we know that women come to us with great sacred wisdom. And so let's hear what this great queen Hatshepsut says as she rules the great nation of Kemet during its new kingdom. This is written on the side of her Tekken. I have done this with a loving heart for my father, Amun. Initiated in his secret of the beginning, acquainted with his beneficent might, I did not forget whatever he had ordained. My majesty knows his divinity. I acted under his command. It was he who led me. I did not plan a work without his doing. It was he who gave directions. I did not sleep because of his temple. I did not stray from what he commanded. My heart was filled with wisdom before my father, Amun. I entered into the plans of his heart. I did not turn my back to the city of the divine. Rather, did I turn my face to it. I know that Epetasut, today most likely known as the Temple of Karnak, is the light land on the earth. It was when I sat in the palace and thought of my maker, my creator, that my heart led me to make for him two tekenu, two obelisks of beautiful gold, of electrum. Now I know Ancient Wisdom Daily is about wisdom. It's about the practice of incredible, sacred, ancient wisdom. This is not a history class. Now, there, you may know that I'm a historian priest, so that I actually do teach history classes, classes on the history of Kemet. But that's not what this is meant for. I don't want to go into a, a lengthy description of the reign of Hatshepsut. What I want you to understand is this most powerful woman is saying that all those things that she did, she did because she was divinely inspired. Don't get caught up on the fact that she says a moon and maybe your spiritual um, background is, is different. Maybe you're not practicing ancient comedic spirituality like I am. That, that's not the important point here. The point is that she's saying, I am an extremely powerful woman. I am the ruler of the most powerful nation on the planet. Yet what I do is divinely inspired. There's another important point here that we should not forget. She also says that the concept of building these magnificent structures, these tekenu, which is the plural of tekken, these obelisks, came to her from this divine source, the moon. And she was unable to sleep because she was filled with the knowledge of its creation. How many things are keeping you awake at night? I'm not talking about 
uh, the problems that are keeping you awake at night. I'm talking about those things that you have been inspired to do. Those things that call to you in the deepest recesses of your dreams. Those things that are saying, wake up. It is your task on this planet to complete me. Does this happen to you? You ever wake up with a dream that's so vivid that is not actually something that is, is sort of fallacious, but it actually is telling you that there's something that you're supposed to be doing? How many of you are actually working diligently to do it? How many of you are having sleepless nights because you're thinking about how to actually do this? Don't you recognize that those things that come to you might actually be, di be divinely inspired? There's actually something that you were brought to this plane to do. There is something that you have been divinely ordained to bring forth for the rest of humanity. Are you doing it? Are you looking to, to actually set the plans for these things? Are you looking to, to figure out what or how you'll be able to do these things? I hope that when you receive your divine inspiration, you are not simply chalking it up to something that you are not prepared to do. You don't have the money to do. You don't have the education to do. You don't have the wisdom to do. You don't have the team of people around you to actually do it. You don't have the materials to do it. Don't let that stop you from doing those things that you were divinely ordained to do. As you come here at the end of your week, ask yourself, over these five days, how much time have I allotted to those things that I have been divinely ordained to do? Am I doing make work? Am I living someone else's dream that is antithetical to my dream? Ask yourself, is this what I am actually supposed to be doing? Is this why I'm awake at night thinking about it? I hope that you are spending time, particularly as we approach your next week. I hope you're spending time thinking about how you'll complete those tasks which have been given to no one other than you those tasks that you have been divinely ordained to do. Put your mind to it. Put your creativity to it. Put your most sacred thoughts to it and accomplish it. Because it is only through the accomplishment of our highest work that we can actually be our highest selves. This has been Ancient Wisdom Daily, and I'm Jabari Osaze. Do you think this conversation might be helpful for other people that you know, your coworkers, your family, your friends? Make sure you refer them to our website at ancientwisdomdaily.com so they can subscribe. Remember, subscri your subscription is free, but the wisdom that we discuss every day is priceless. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Hetepu.